Hello and welcome to another video of the course. In this video, we are going to do more load simulation. In this simulation, we will calculate some motor parameters like as motor back EMFs, phase linkage flux, and cogging torque. In this simulation, there is no load torque on shaft and we are running the machine in its generator operation. The rotor will be rotated at its synchronous speed and the current in a stator winding is zero. The stator winding is open circuit. As you can see here in this figure, I defined a motion band and I set the value of rotor speed equal to its synchronous speed and uh, I set the simulation time and I calculated the motor parameters like as back EMF, line to line back EMF, and linkage flux, and cogging torque. Okay, and let's start. So, first, I copy the static torque calculation and I paste it here under the project and save and I rename the name of this project to back EMFs calculation first of all I should change the solution type as you can see here, the solution type of all of these designs are magnetostatic, but this time we are going to do a transient simulation. So I change the solution type uh, from here, Maxwell 2D, solution type, transient, okay. And I should define a motion band. The motion band is an object that includes all moving parts. So I define a circle and I set its radius equal to d divided by 2 minus gap divided by 2 and I press OK. okay. This circle is in the middle of the aid gap. I change its name to motion band and I press enter. As you can see here, this uh, circle includes all of moving parts. I change its uh, transparency to 0.9. Okay. Now I select this object and I assign a band to it. The motion type is rotation and the rotation axis is Z and the direction is positive. And its speed is equal to the rated speed, synchronous speed, that is equal 1980 RPMs. I press K. So, I should define the windings again. So, I delete all our previous defined excitations and I define a winding. Uh, its name is phase A. The type is current, standard, and the value of current is zero. As I said, we are going to do an open circuit simulation. The stator winding is open circuit, and the rotor speed is fixed and is equal to its rated speed. The number of parallel branches is equal NP. That is 6 in our case, 
So I write here 6 and I press OK. And I add a phase D a standard 6. And I add phase C a standard 0. The number of parallel lines is 6. Okay, now uh, I define the coil arms and assign them uh, to their related winding. This time I do this by hand, okay, manually. So, for example, I select the negative coil arms of phase A. Assign excitation coil. The number of conductors is equal NTC. The polarity is negative. Okay. And add coils, these coils to phase A. Okay. And now I am going to define the positive windings for phase A and so for phase. C and then for phase B. Okay, we have defined phase A, phase B, and phase C. Now I add an analysis setup, add solution setup, and I should set the stop time and time step. I am going to simulate one electrical period, and so the simulation time will be equal 1 divided by rated frequency of supply electrical frequency so i write here one second divided by 99 hertz 99 and i am going to consider 30 simulation points so i write here one second divided by 99 divided by 30 full time step and i press ok so and now i delete uh, this because in this case the electrical torque will be calculated 
Uh, the electrical torque is a uh, torque of this uh, motion band. So I deleted this torque in parameters. I select uh, all objects and show. Okay. We are ready to run the simulation, but before that, I should set the stack length because in transient simulation, the software needs to calculate linkage flux and the amount of electrical torque in every uh, time step. So under Maxwell 2T, uh, design settings, model setting, I should set the model depth. I write here LSTK and I press OK. And now I can run the simulation. Let's validate the design. It's okay, so I run this analysis setup. Okay, the simulation completed, and now let's plot the results. The first result is a torque, a moving on the torque plot. And as you can see here, we have a torque here in this case. This torque is called the cogging torque. Uh, as you know, the cogging torque is due to the interaction of magnets field and a stator slots. We have variations in the reluctance of air gap because of a slot opening. The peak to peak value of this torque is equal let me say characteristics all and peak to peak value at trace characteristic the peak to peak value is 5.4 newton meters that is uh, comparable with our output torque is considerable okay against this value so Later, we will consider skewing in a stator core for reduction of uh, torque uh, repair. Okay. At this time, we don't have any skewing in a stator core. Now, let's plot the other results, uh, like as uh, phase linkage flux. I select winding. Flux linkage to phase A, phase B, and phase C, and I press new report. And the maximum value of linkage flux, phase linkage flux, is equal 53 uh, milli Webers. And the value of phase uh, voltage, phase induced voltage, is Winding, induced voltage, phase A, phase B, and phase C. New report. There is characteristic, recent, RMS value. The RMS value of induced voltage is 23 volts. And in this case, the phase back EMF is 24.6 watts in our analytic uh, calculation. So uh, this is good uh, match okay, between these uh, results and uh, this simulation, no load simulation, validates uh, our design. Just consider that if you want to calculate the cogging torque curve 
in a more a smooth way you should reduce the simulation time step as you know the frequency of uh, variation of this curve is high it depends on the number of state or slots okay i think it's uh, enough for this video and let's uh, continue in the next video thanks for watching